I'm attorney Ben Schwartz. Today we're going to answer a viewer question from Bob in Millsboro, Delaware. He says he was rear-ended in a car accident. The other driver's insurance company offered to fix his car, but they aren't going to pay for it to be fixed until after they talk to their insured, until after they talk to their driver who rear-ended him. And so what can he do? All right, so if this happens to you, the direct answer is you don't have to wait for the at-fault driver's insurance company to take responsibility for the accident and fix your car. You can fix your car yourself. If you had collision coverage on your car, use that to fix your car. You might have a $500 deductible or a $1,000 deductible, which means you have to come out of pocket for that, but you get it back when the at-fault driver's insurance company finally gets around to interviewing the at-fault driver and confirming your version of the events. So the the reason like the reason why this is happening is that driver's insurance company wants to pay for your car. They're probably going to do it in a repair facility where they've got a relationship where they're going to get a decent uh, you know they're going to get a decent price on the repairs to your car. If you have your insurance company do it, or if you do it yourself, you might go to the Cadillac of repair facilities, whereas they're trying to go to the, to the, uh, you know, the discount version of repair facilities to save some money. So they want to step up to the plate. They want to get your car fixed for you so they can save themselves some money. But oftentimes in order to do that, they need to interview their insured and make sure that their insured says, yeah, the accident was my fault. That way they can go ahead and pull the trigger and pay for the repairs. Getting that accomplished sometimes can take weeks or months, or sometimes it may not happen at all because their insured might now be in jail, or maybe their insured is going to be difficult and is not going to talk to that insurance company, even though it's their own insurance company. So if you run into this situation, you can have your own insurance company fix the car if you had collision coverage. If you didn't have collision coverage, then hopefully you have enough cash to cover the repairs to your own vehicle, and then you can make the claim with the at-fault driver's insurance company later to get reimbursed. I'm attorney Ben Schwartz. I hope this doesn't happen to you. It's a frequent situation that we run into handling auto accident personal injury claims. Uh, if you have questions for me, send me an email. I'm at ben.schwartz at schwartzandschwartz.com. I'm happy to answer any kind of questions you have about personal injury claims, auto accident cases, dog bite cases, slip and fall, medical malpractice, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, but if you send me an email with a question, please make clear that it's a question to be answered on the air because otherwise everything that you email me, if you're emailing it to me about a case, then I'm going to assume that you want me to keep it confidential. So if you have a question you'd like me to answer it on the air, put in your email, hey, can you please answer this in video format, and I will. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you taking the time to watch. Hopefully it's making you smarter, and hopefully it's making you more entertained about the law. Thank you.